and we've received the Murasame! Not... Not the best sword, but it is definitely up there! Let's go ahead and put that on edge immediately! What do you have? Ninja! No, 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 no! Murasame! Alright, so we're at 138. Looking at his stats, let's look at strength and agility. You're at 57 and 38. 57... Th wait, what am I doing? No, that one. 57, 38. That goes up to 45. And even increases his defense by 2. That's nice. 57, 38. 57, 33. So his agility is down a bit, but... I will take it. Murasame is awesome. I like it. So, unfortunately, it looks like we're going to have to do some backtracking. And I will just meet you at the first portal after I take out the Bone Dragon, because I do believe that is a new enemy, or at least we have not seen it for a while. I don't remember seeing it. I don't remember it at all. You are not my cure. You are my cure. I do need everybody to be to be feeling better, especially Kane right now. No, stop stealing my my MP. Die of fire, both of you. He is bones. And I will bleach him with fire. That's that's how bones work. I don't know if you guys know that, but they bleach. Ah, oh, you poisoned her. You dick. Stop draining. God. They just use the most annoying things possible. Go by a three. That should at least kill the bone dragon. Down it goes. And then hopefully between Kane and Cecil we can take out the warlock. Down it goes. Alright, for that fight we get 9,150 gills, 6,280 experience. No level ups though. No level ups. And I will meet you at the top of the dungeon. Alright, I'm back and I did heal up at the pots again. And uh, that's just on the other side of that portal there. Now it is time to head to the east where we can find more places to go in this dungeon since the other way was a dead end. And I'm not saying that this time we're not headed for another dead end. However, this one is a lot shorter than the last one. I'm not a fan of multi-door dead ends. Maybe that's just me. But if we head all the way down here, you can see we've already made it to the dead end. With a treasure chest. With monsters. What do we have this time? Two red giants again. However, for beating them, we get the ninja armor. More upgrades for Edge. Hooray! I don't think it was that weak to begin with, but we will take it. We got 43 and 12, 54, 24. His attack's down by two, but seriously, he actually can take a hit now. That's kind of important. I'm keeping him on the back row, though. I'm keeping him on the back row. So I will meet you back at the first uh, portal again, the start of this dungeon, after I have healed once more. That should be the last time that I need to exit the dungeon. I, I didn't need to do it that last time, but I felt like it because it was easy, to be honest with you. When it's that close to where you need to go, it is not that big of a trouble to go heal. And finally, we can head the way that we're supposed to. Let's head down here to Subterrane Basement number two. But we do see a treasure chest here, so let's go around and grab that. We find ourselves the Flame Whip, a new weapon for Rydia. She's on 57 attack. Now with the Flame Whip, she is up to 68. And her defense actually goes up by 3 as well. Very nice. Very nice indeed. So let us head up here so we can continue going. I bet you guys saw the secret passage earlier. Wondering when we were going to get to that. That time is now! Let's head over there where I do see another treasure chest. God, there are a lot of warlocks here. Let's get this treasure chest over here. Here we can find the Dragoon Shield. I wonder who can equip that. Let's go ahead and put that on. We've got 74 and 21. We are definitely getting some endgame equipment here. Don't want to spoil too much, though. 74, 21. 75, 21. Not that big of an upgrade over the samurai equipment, to be honest with you. Can, uh, can Cecil equip the samurai 
Oh, he's already got samurai stuff. Never mind then. Let us head down here. Now let's go down here with that fight out of the way. And let us head to the left first. Not that far left though. Well then forget that. In fact, let's just ignore everything to the left then and just head straight south where we can head over here and grab ourselves Dragoon Helmet, another upgrade for Kane. This does definitely start to sound like end game equipment to me. I mean, we've already got everything that we could possibly want in terms of an airship. We're starting to get some of the floating legendary swords. We already got Excalibur. We already got Odin. Bahamut and Odin. Can you believe that? We also got Dragoon Armor. Let's go ahead and put that on as well. 7622. This is going to be the big jump out of all of them, isn't it? 7823. Not even that big, to be honest with you. And, of course, there is one more over here with the Dragoon Gauntlets, gloves, however, however they're supposed to be called. I believe they are gloves, for, to be honest with you. Uh, 7823, 7924, just small increases, but they do add up over time. So let us head back the way that we came through these secret passages here. Let's continue on. Head over here and through the door that we had passed earlier. Oh. We are definitely starting to get to the bottom here. It does not look good for us at all, but there does seem to be a treasure chest over here with Artemis arrows. Not that I use those very often. Let's go down the sca stairs. What are scares? Well, I know what scares are, but they are not in this game. They are in games that will be playing very shortly. But in here we can find an elixir, very, very useful. And we can head over to the east. Which is pretty much the only way we can go. This does look very, very scary, to be honest with you. And we've got King Ryu's. This does not look good for me at all. In fact, let's summon something. What haven't we seen yet? Let's let's summon Odin. Let's see if that works for the King Ryu's. I know I'm not pronouncing that right. That's one of those things that's really hard to pronounce in the, if you're not Japanese. Didn't work at all. Damn you, Odin. That was a waste of MP. But he does have a chance to instantly kill your enemies, which is a nice thing to at least try. At least try. We are going to need to cure across the board here. And these guys are not making things easy for me at all. And let's see if I can get a, a decent attack off. Um, I think I, I should keep, probably be jumped up with Kane here. Because neither one of these seems to be dying. At all. This probably isn't going well for me. In fact, it doesn't seem to be going well at all. Can I heal everybody? No, of course not. So they are paralyzed. Uh, let's get Rydia back. She is probably most important right now because I'm going to need her to try to do some damage. I hate using heal though. It's so expensive. Jump. I don't care if you get hit. Jump. Damn, these guys are tough. These guys are not making it easy for me. Who haven't we seen yet? Uh, we haven't seen Azura, but this is not not the time, to be honest with you. So we're going to go with a regular spell. Uh, let's go with... Uh, yeah, we'll go with fire. Why not fire? And then how many heals do I have? I only have eight. Uh, let's go ahead and use one of those on Cecil. Super! He gets up right as I'm about to use the heal on him. Hooray! That's exactly what I wanted to see. Thank you for that game. Thank you. Die, King Ryu! Uh, from what I understand, in order to pronounce R-Y-U properly, really, another entangle, uh, you're supposed to pronounce it the same way that Ryu, as he's known in, uh, in Western society, because we don't speak Japanese. 
uh, the way that he says Hadouken, so it's supposed to be like King Do. I don't know. It, it that doesn't make sense to me. Wow, Lightning Do didn't do anything. Hopefully, we can finish him off damn soon because this is one hell of an annoying fight. Damn you, King Ryu. See, I, I can't do it. We get 46,000 gil, 12,000 experience. And Cecil has gained a level. And hopefully I don't have to try to pronounce that ever again. Let us move down here. Let us continue on. And we can head down here. And we can find nothing. It's another passage, though. That is always nice. I do see a chest up there that I will go for. I was hoping for something more exciting in this room. I don't know why. In there we can't find a cure 3, though. And if we head over to the west, we find another treasure chest with another cure 3 and the way out. Let us head out here through the small little crack. Ooh, I see a treasure chest with monsters. Hooray. Ah, oh, crap, it's a behemoth. But we've seen this before. And for that fight, we get the Stardust Rod. Very nice. Let's check that out. I believe right here is our rod user, if we do have rods on hand. Alright, so from attack of 68 to 62, and her defense goes down. So I won't be using that uh, very often, to be honest with you, but I might bust it out and, and use it in battle at some point. Let's head down these stairs. Oh, I see another floating sword in the distance. All right, let's keep going. Let's head over to the west here, and we can fight a blue dragon. Holy crap, that doesn't look good. That doesn't look good at all. We got dragons. Um, jeez. Uh, let's go ahead and try out our new spiffy Stardust Rod, and then we can use that in battle. Go Stardust Rod. And it casts. That looks like Meteor, but it doesn't do nearly as much damage, so I assume that is not what that is. Let's keep fighting. This guy is tough. I do not like dragons. Not a fan. Not a fan. They, well, I like them when they're on my side, I should say, but when they're on the other side, that's a whole different story. Ah, oh, God. Um. Okay, so Stardust didn't do nearly as much as I thought it would. Let's try... Let's try the Blitz here. And let's try attacking with it. Hopefully, I can paralyze it. I didn't paralyze it. That was what I was really hoping for. We need Kane on the ground so that we can continue to heal him because he is close to dead. I do realize that while he's in the air, he can't be hit. But right now, we really do need to focus on healing him, and I should probably start using Cure Fours. Because this blue dragon is kicking my ass. Now, you would think, you would think, that you could cast uh, things like fire on him. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way at all. Why? I don't know. But fire heals the blue dragon. And I think that's a little bit cheap and unfair, to be honest with you. Because that was me using my logic. It's a blue dragon. It's cast a blizzard. Burn it. Nope. No can do. Alright, uh, so Blitz, I assume it's it's immune to that. Uh, I assume we can't charm it or anything like that. So let's stick with the Stardust Rod. And we'll, we'll, we'll use the cheap, you know... Was it 500 damage or whatever it was? All right, Kane is ready to jump now. He is now a little bit better off. Yeah, we get 500 damage for that. Not that it's that great, but I will take what I can get against this guy. This guy is not easy. He's just a random encounter. Just keep using that star rod. Well, Stardust Rod, I should say. Damn it, Kane, land on him and destroy his face. You did! Nice job, Kane, I underestimated you. But for that fight, we get 40,200 gil and 7,200 experience. That is a tough fight, tough fight. 
Hopefully I don't have to do one of those again. But we do have monsters! 